everybody and welcome back to my channel good morning good evening good afternoon those are not in order but you know what it's okay let's keep going this video is going to be an h&m haul i wasn't looking for anything specific i just was like you know what i just want to take a stroll in h&m and see what's going on in there and i actually found um quite a few things but i don't think i'm going to keep i'm i don't think i'm going to be keeping all of them um only because I went shopping so much yesterday that I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make up this rule. I'm gonna go home and for each piece, if I cannot make three to five different outfits with each piece, then it's going back to the store because sometimes I go a little bit crazy and I'm very like impulsive. And so like, I'll just like buy all these things and then like not wear them. Um, I feel like a lot of girls do that. Mm -mm -mm. And I am also aware Black Friday is coming up, but you know what? I am not a Black Friday type of girl. I don't like big crowds. I'm impatient. I don't like to wait in line. One time I waited in line for like $1 flip flops for like 30 minutes. So no thank you. I just like, I really don't mind paying the extra money for like less of a hassle. I'm all about like convenience. So anyways, I'm actually wearing one of the pieces that I got. Isn't it so cute? I love this sweater, but I haven't taken up the tags yet because it's a little bit itchy. And if something is not comfortable on my skin, I'm not going to wear it. So I'm just kind of like trying it out. I don't know if I wash it, it'll change the texture and like the itchiness of it. It's going to make it go away. I'm kind of hoping it does because I really like this sweater. I got this in a size medium. I'm going to do mod shots as well so you guys can kind of see. It was $24.99 in US. Okay, you guys, so this is the first outfit that I would wear with this sweater. And yes, I know I'm wearing two different shoes because I wanted to show you guys that I think it would look best with this style of shoe, but just in plain white. Like, not, like I wouldn't wear, I mean, maybe I would wear the Gucci ones, but um, I'm actually looking for just regular plain white sneakers. Um... I don't know, I was thinking either like the Christian Dior ones or the Saint Laurent ones. Um, but yeah, we'll see. See how it f I love the way that it fits. It's like loose, um, like in the arm area, but then it kind of like tightens like right um, in this area right here, like right here. I don't know, I just love it. It just looks so like casual and comfy. And the itchiness is actually not bothering me that much at all, so. And I love the different colors, like the beige, the white, the pink, and then the dark blue. And I just tucked it in. And if you don't tuck it in, that's just like how it looks like. So it's so casual, just a good sweater to go about your day, but also like nice enough to, you know, like meet with somebody or whatever. Now, for some reason, I went on this like blazer craze. Uh, there was another white corduroy blazer that I really liked, but I didn't get it. Because I don't think I'm going to wear it that much. But anyways, this blazer I got in a size 6. And it was $49.99. I feel like it's like so festive. I like the colors of it. I think I just wanted to be able to like throw, have something that I can throw on over like a basic t-shirt. Um, just to like amp up an outfit. Something easy. So yeah, I don't know. I just really like the colors of it too. Well, I did get the matching skirt, but... The matching skirt is weird. So here is the matching skirt and it is in size four and it was $24.99. So I just thought it was it would be really cute to wear um like the matching patterns, like a set, you know, with a blazer and then this and then I thought it would look really cute with like combat boots or knee-high boots. Honestly, I think I'm gonna return it. Hello everyone, different day, different outfit, really cute. Um, now earlier when I was um, showing you guys the outfits, I talked about how like it kind of looks weird because the skirt is, oh sorry, I have like one shoe on. Um, the skirt is in a different, uh, uh, what is this, Dur going in a different direction. So it goes like diagonal and then like the blazer goes up and down, like the pattern. So like, I don't know if that's why I don't really like it that much. I don't know. Like, I don't know how I feel. Like, I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. I'm really indifferent about it. I'm thinking about like maybe even returning it because I'm not like absolutely loving it. But then when I wear it separate, maybe I'll like it more. I don't know. And then I was thinking like, am I even like a skirt type of person? I don't know. So many I don't knows. 
What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should keep this? You know what I'm gonna do? I really like this, but I am gonna wait until this goes on sale and if there's, if they have it in my size, I'm gonna get it. If not, you know what? I'm not because I honestly just don't think I would be wearing it too much here, especially in Vegas. Like We don't really have blazer season. I feel like it's either super warm or super cold. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. The next one. So I wanted to get this to kind of match my um, Stuart Weitzman boots. And honestly, I wish they had it in a size small, but they didn't. This was the last one and it was in a size medium. It was $34.99, but again, it is like an itchier material. I was, I liked it so much, I was going to get it like tailored, but I was like, you know what? I think it'll look weird because like there's a pattern in the back as well and if they take it in on the sides it's just gonna look I don't know what the back is gonna look like plus it's like I don't know it's itchy but it's very like wintry vibe um, there's like beige gray <clears throat> dark gray light gray um, white cream so it's like really pretty colors and I think it would look so good with my Stuart Weitzman boots it's a very long sweater very very long yeah it's really cute but if you guys don't mind like that itchy feeling for this sweater it's very oversized and yeah it's still like very cute but this it was the original idea that I wanted um, to wear with my Stuart Weissman boots but if I just let it go it's like this long dang I guess it is still kind of cute I don't know now that I'm looking at it but let's see what it looks like from this side See, it's just very, I don't know. It does nothing for me, like in the waist area. I mean, thank goodness that it has like this pattern to give me some kind of an illusion of a shape, but I wanted to get it like altered so it was like that. But I really don't want to spend the money to alter this. That's why I'm like, I might as well just return it. But it's so cute. Like, I love the pattern, right? And the colors. It goes really well with the shoe, too. And the shoes are coming up darker in the camera, but it's actually a little bit lighter than this. So it matches well. It looks like it doesn't match in the camera, actually. But in real life, it does. But this is the outfit. What do you guys think? Um, I was trying to belt it to kind of like... I don't know, just to make it more like this, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just whatever. I think I might just return it. This next one. So I wanted to get um, like faux leather looking leggings. These, they don't look like faux leather. It looks like an in-between uh, denim and faux leathery. But anyways, I wanted to get some high-waisted ones with um, a belt loop because none of my faux leather leggings have belt loops in them. And I really want to wear um, my Louis Vuitton belt a lot more. So I figured I would get this. And um, yeah, I like the fit of it. It's nothing like special or anything. Um, I just needed uh, pants. <laughs> But I think I'm going to cut the bottoms, and I don't know how it's going to look. But I've done that to H&M jeans before, and it was fine. Um, so yeah, they're a little bit too long. The size is 27.30. They're jeggings, high-waisted. Yeah, jeggings. These were $19.99. Um, the pockets in the... Ow! What the... The pockets in the front are not real. Oh, here you guys, I wanted to show you a better view without the blazer of the pants. So they're a little bit long, so that's why it's like scrunched and stuff. Um, but I think I'm actually going to cut them. I've cut H&M jeans before, so like, it's fine. And then, um, this is the back of them. Super cute. I'm wearing regular underwear. Yeah, they're really comfortable too. Like, they're like stretchy. Um, it's like a cross between like denim and like full leather feeling. I don't know how to explain it. It's like they had a baby and this is what they produced. And these pants you can wear with so much. Like, I don't even have to tell you guys. I mean, they're like black pants for goodness sakes. Super simple. I really like this look. It's like really simple but still like, I don't know, chic. 
Um, another blazer. I just love this blazer and this is very oversized. I wanted to see if they had another one um, that was a little bit smaller, but they didn't. It was in a size six and it was on sale. So originally it was $49.99, but it's on sale right now for $27.99. And I'm sure Black Friday, they might do it even more. There's shoulder pads in this one. So yeah, it just makes it a look more like a, a drop. A drop. I can never say this word. A drogenist? A drogeny. A drop. Like it looks very powerful. Okay, this outfit actually makes me look a lot wider than I am because the belt doesn't go any tighter than this. But this belt actually needs to be a little bit tighter, so this looks more correct. <laughs> but this is like how I would kind of like wear it. Just something like black underneath or whatever, and then um, belted with my Louis Vuitton belt, but I actually need to punch another hole to make it tighter because then this would just look a lot better. But you can just wear like a jean skirt underneath it. I'm wearing this and then um, black thigh high boots. I'm actually wanting to get um, like the Stuart Weissman ones too, maybe in black because this one is like a regular heel and I want to be able to have boots that I can wear like every day, you know? So yeah, this is like another cute way to wear it, I guess. What do you guys think? I really like this blazer. Um, I got this long sweater, turtleneck, I don't know what this is. It's like a turtleneck shirt dress type of style, but super, super soft. It's $24.99 in a size medium. It has uh, long sleeves and a really high slit on both sides, like right here. It's so long that, and the slit is so high as well. So even if you tuck it in, it looks weird. It's so weird. I feel like in the camera, it looks a lot cuter. But in real life, when I'm looking at it, I don't like it. I'm confused. A slit. A slit. See, you can move your legs. You can <coughs> kick your legs. <coughs> I kind of like it now. At first, I like didn't like it. But now I'm like, hmm, maybe. Maybe I like you. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's cute. It's cute with this outfit, too. This is another um, turtleneck sweater that I got uh, to wear underneath the blazer outfits. And this one was $29.99. I got this in an extra small. It is just kind of like an oversized turtleneck looking thing. It's, what does it look like on camera? Because it is like a brownish green to me. That's what it looks like. It, this one is also a tiny bit itchy too, so I might return it as well. This turtleneck was $29.99 and it's kind of like, it's like a brownish green. That's what it reminds me of, if that makes sense. Um, and it's long sleeve and this one is an, an extra small and it's pretty big. It goes all the way down to here and it's an extra small. Do you like turtlenecks? especially during like the colder months because covering your neck really makes a difference um, when it's cold. But also, um, it's kind of itchy. Like this one's itchy too, so I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's a pretty neutral color so I can wear it with a lot of things, but yeah. And then, then I got, so I already have a leather, a faux leather skirt, but it's just a straight down skirt. This one kind of comes out a little bit um, on the sides. It's just like a flared skirt, which I really like. It's comfortable. And then in the back, it has this like zipper. But I mean, no one's really going to see the zipper because I, I don't really like the way that it looks. But I'm going to wear like long sweaters that cover it anyways. This one I probably could have sized up, but they didn't have one. So I was like, whatever. So I got a size two. I might return it. Okay, I don't know if I like this skirt anymore. What is going on with me? I feel like when I was in the fitting room, I was like, oh, I love all of this. And now I'm like hating all of it. But anyways, this is what I had in mind. I do not, I don't like this. Do you guys like this? I feel like a little girl. That's what it, that's what I feel like. Yeah. I think I'm gonna return this one too. Isn't this sweater so cute? 
This sweater is actually from TJ Maxx. Hmm. I love it. It's very, very cute. And it was only $17. Holla. Okay, so I'm going to return this. I'm basically returning almost everything from H&M except for... Um, I am returning everything except for these pants that are inside out. Um, this blazer I am keeping. And then... I'm also keeping this sweater, and I think that is all I'm going to choose to keep. What is that? It's a black skirt with an army shirt. Oh, cute! Look at my daughter styling her little LOL dolls. That's such a cute outfit, Corey. Thank you. Alright guys, that's everything that I got from H&M, even though I'm returning half of the things that I showed you guys, but at least, you know, you guys got to see what I got, and if you like something, then you can buy it for yourself. With that said, let's all be nice to each other and nice to ourselves, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye! Bye. Tell you something I could do